Hello everyone, myself Professor Pritish Chitte, working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department in Vonchal Institute of Technology, Salapur. So welcome to the third session in the course CADCAM CE. In today's topic, what we are discussing? So we will discuss today the new concept like the product cycle and the CADCAM CE. So, what is the relationship between the product cycle and CADCAM CE? So, the learning outcome are the students will be able to apply the computer aided design fundamentals as well as the advanced manufacturing technology to industry problems. So, these are the content. So, first we will have the recap of the second session that we have discussed the product design and the relationship with the CADCAM CA. Today's concept that is product cycle and CADCAM CA. So in, in the last session we have discussed the concept like what is the relationship between the product design and CADCAM. So first we will discuss product design without CADCAM means there will be the manual work. So there will be the first the recognition of the need. So in the recognition of the need where this process will start. So whenever the customer will give the feedback with the help of a marketing people from the company that there will be the requirement of the new design, the man, new manufacturing processes or there is a requirement of the new product. In that case there will be the recognition of the need or the need of the new product or the design process. And after that there will be the definition of the problem. The definition of the problem means in the very simple statement we can call it as the problem statement or how actually the product will look like, how the actually the product will look like, what are the dimensions of the product, what is the material that we have to use it during the manufacturing processes that we have to look it inside the definition of the problem. Synthesis, synthesis means a, this is a part of a designing process where we have to uh, provide a model of any mechanical component or maybe the new product that will be the manual work means with the help of maybe the orthographic sheet or maybe the isometric sheet that we have to provide it, we have to construct it, we have to develop it and that particular input uh, like the model of a mechanical component or maybe the product that we have to provide it to the analysis or the engineering analysis that will be work as a manual work. So after creation of the synthesis and analysis that we have uh, we are actually the validating or maybe the optimization of the engineering analysis. So whenever it is correct like the validation is correct it will go to the presentation. The presentation that will be the presentation with the help of drafting sheet which consists of the different types of views like it consists of maybe the front view, it may be consist of the top view or maybe the side view, sectional view, isometric view but those will be all the things will be in the manual work. Now there is another concept which is called as computer aided design, computer aided manufacturing and the relationship with the product design means there will be the use of the concepts like the computer aided design or maybe the computer aided manufacturing for the product design process. Already we have discussed like the recognition of the need, the problem definition. Now to the synthesis one more branch is attached that is geometrical modeling. Yes there will be the use of computer assistance or the use of the computers to create the different types of models for the new product. Like the modeling softwares can be used for the synthesis part. In the analysis and the optimization different engineering analysis softwares can be used. In the evaluation both the validation and the optimization process can be done regarding the 3D modeling and the engineering analysis output. And when during the presentation part we are using it computer aided drafting sheet. So computer aided drafting sheet uh, will be a very simple part with the help of the modeling softwares like the CATIA or maybe the SOLIDWORKS. Only we have to click on the a drafting icon or maybe the front view icon with the help of which just uh, we can create the front view or maybe the top view or maybe the side view very easily. We can also create a isometric view. We can apply the material in the 
3D modeling software, we can create the nameplate or maybe the part list, bill of material, each and everything we can create it and we can, uh, we can have the printout and we can uh, represent it uh, in front of the customer or maybe the manager. Now, so th there is one simple question that what are the different types of engineering analysis? Just think about this question. What are the different types of engineering analysis? Yes, uh, there are different types of engineering analysis like there is a model analysis, there is a static analysis, there is a dynamic analysis, there is a vibrational analysis, there is a structural analysis, there is a thermal analysis uh, for, the, uh, for the fluid flow, like uh, the fluid is flowing through the pipe that we are having its, uh, the computer, computational fluid dynamics. Yes, these are the some of the types of the engineering analysis. Now, in today's topic, what we are discussing actually in our today's session, that is the relationship between the product cycle and the CAD CAM CV. The relationship between the product cycle and CAD CAM CV. So first we will discuss the product cycle without CAD CAM CV. Let's see. So for example, it consists of the different components like the customer and market, uh, the product concept. Uh, so this product cycle and the CAD CAM CV, uh, which is a particular part of we can call it as the product design process and the CAD CAM CA. So first of all, we are discussing like there is a always relationship between the customer and the market. So maybe the customer is providing the feedback or uh, providing the survey like, yes, there is a, we can call it as, there is a need of the new product or maybe the design process. After that, it will go to the product concept. Yes, so the product concept can be also called as the, uh, definition of the problem or maybe the problem statement where that we can provide it to the design engineering that we can provide it to the design engineering. Now in the product concept what it consists of? It consists of maybe actually how the product will look like, which type of material we have to use, what are the different types of dimensions, uh, geometrical dimensions and the tolerances that each and everything the parameter which will be the part of product concept. After that the design engineering this is a very, uh, we can call it very much a manual work. Yes, manually we have to uh, work on the particular, the new design process for the new product. Yes, on the different types of sheets, on the paper, we have to uh, develop the design, we have to construct the design of the new product, which is a very hectic part. Uh, it may take a very longer time, so the, because this is a very manual work. Yes, there is a again which is uh, connected to the drafting sheet. Yes, in the drafting there will be the provision of the front view, top view, side view. It may be a left hand side view, it may be a right hand side view or maybe the sectional view, any type of sectional view. Now, always whenever we want to uh, connect the design engineering or the design department to the production or maybe the manufacturing department. Yes, always there is a connectivity or the intermediate between the one more department which is called as process planning. Process planning uh, is a we can call as a scheduling or the planning of each and every activity, the start date or maybe the end date, what are the different sequence of operations that we are providing in the during the production or different types of machine tools, the sequence of the machine tools, what is the material that we have to use it during the manufacturing process. Each and everything will be provided in the process planning. Now, now this process plan we have to do it manually because there is, uh, there is the absence of the computer systems. There is absence of the computer aided design, computer aided manufacturing, and computer aided engineering. Also, after the process planning, after the process planning, so th there is a production and scheduling. So scheduling means what will be the start date of the design, what will be the end date of the manufacturing process. So because the product or the component, we have to supply uh, to the maybe the quality control engineer or maybe the customer before the time so that uh, there will not be any loss uh, during the manufacturing process. So after the scheduling, the, the process will be to the maybe the production, different types of manufacturing processes will be used or maybe the conventional machine tools will be used. For example, the center lathe machine, milling machine, 
drilling machine, shaping machine and that particular component will go ahead with the quality control. Yes, and after checking or the inspect, uh, after inspecting or after testing each and every component, yes, uh, that will be again go back to the customer. Now here, with the help of product cycle and CAD CAM CAE, yes, in the product concept and the design engineer, we can use the computer aided design. For the drafting, we can use the computer uh, aided drafting sheet or the documentation. For the process planning, we can use the computer aided process planning. Is suppose there is a requirement of the process planning, there is a requirement of the process planning, and uh, there is a requirement of the uh, the new equipment. Yes, we can order it with respect to the process planning. In the scheduling, we can use the computer aided scheduling. For the production, we can have maybe the computer control or we can call it as a machine tools, robots, ASRS, AGB. For the quality control, we can have maybe the co computer aided quality control. And after inspecting the component or the product, it will go to the customer. These are the references.